Hi Pisces, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Pisces, this is another intuitive reading about the other person that you guys could be connecting with for the second half of September. Um, before anything else though, I really want to apologize to you guys because I wasn't able to upload your bonus reading. How do they feel about you? I encountered some technical problems. Um, when I checked the video as I was uploading it, I realized it had no audio. Okay, for some reason. I tried to save the video. I tried checking what could be the problem I thought initially it was my phone but it was the audio so I figured maybe someone doesn't want to be heard um, someone could also be just in deep silence right now out of your radar uh, they don't want to be I think that their energy is something that they're trying to hide they're trying to hide from you basically that's what I'm picking up so I promise to make up to you guys um, when I'm going to be doing the October bonus readings, I will put yours first, okay? Thank you so much for your understanding. Now, going back to this reading. This reading will, will help you guys get inside about an ex-partner or someone that ghosted you. Or even someone you're not in talking terms with right now. This could be the same person. So, I already reshuffled these cards as well. And as I was doing the meditative session before recording this video... Uh, like I said, someone was d definitely out of your radar. Someone ghosted you and pulled back. This is really going to resonate if it, if, if it was out of the blue, abruptly cutting communication, okay? I feel like this person ha has been doing this. And don't be surprised if out of the blue, they're going to come in again and try to like casually converse with you here. Or maybe randomly text you, give you a call, something like that. As if nothing happened. So that's the vibe I got I, while I was uh, shuffling these cards. But let's see what that is all about. Okay, Pisces? Let's see what that is all about. Cross watchers, bear in mind that the energies can be vice versa in this reading. And if it doesn't resonate for you at all, do check your Venus signs and Moon signs as well. Okay? Thank you so much for your support, Pisces. And let's begin. Spirit, any messages, please, about this other person that Pisces is dealing with at this time? Any messages, please, Spirit, about this other person that Pisces might be dealing with at this time? Whoa, look at that. So it's the energy of just someone jumping in excitement here. Um, I want to put that back because there's a lot of cards. But yeah, someone could be rushing in. I feel this energy of them a little bit rattled, rushing in, okay, rushing in rushing in because they want to like communicate with you something that they've just recently realized if it's not happening yet it will happen pretty soon um or they, they could be feeling this anxiety because they want to talk to you as well okay um it's the energy of very anxious and very anxious person let's see could be an air sign gemini libra or aquarius but they tend to talk fast as well they tend to talk fast. Okay, let's see. How did the matter is three of swords. Okay, so I did mention someone has been doing this hot and cold in and out of your life or casually come and come and goes whenever they want to. Uh, because the three of swords, this is an energy that has already been imprinted in your memory. So I feel like they haven't done this the first time. All right, could have been, you know, the third time that they've done this to you or maybe one too many times all right that you've given this person a chance it could also be a situation where this person broke your heart because it's a passionate love but because of maybe them talking to somebody else or being with somebody else you found out that there's a third party trying to interfere with your relationship okay that could be the case as well we have the world card here see what i mean this is what's blocking this energy um they're not truly over your your connection here it hasn't fully ended for them uh right now it could be the energy of wanting to take things slow here uh also not being able to approach you because they know that they broke your heart someone could be biding time here until they're ready to communicate with you also someone that is in, in a long distance relationship for some of you with the world card because it could be also that's the reason why communication is not consistent, okay? This is what I'm getting. 
the communication is not as consistent because you guys are apart. There's something about distance that this person is finding it hard to constantly be there for you, constantly seek you out and reach out, okay? And you may have felt like this person, you kept on waiting for this person, but um, at some point they may have ghosted you, okay? Out of the blue. So root or cause of this is the daughter of pentacles. Could be a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone younger. Okay. Something about the daughter of wands that wants to communicate with you. Because oftentimes the pages could mean messengers. But I, I'm getting this energy of reluctance here. Just the body language of the daughter of wands. Um, there's curiosity and wanting to reach out. But there's fear as well. So it's the energy of, like I said, the anxiety. The nervousness of reaching out to you again. Okay, so in the past is the Seven of Pentacles. You waited for this person to come around. You waited for them to reach out, okay? And you could have wondered what's up with this person, oh, all right? Why out of the blue, uh, without a word, you know, just abruptly cutting you off? So I feel like with Seven of Pentacles, this is a long overdue situation. Um, and you feel like you deserve some form of explanation for this person. I also want to say that um, the reason why they held back for so long, there's a fear here, okay? They're afraid to go for it. They're afraid to reach out to you again, all right? There's something about their fear of being rejected by you as well here, Pisces. I'm getting a lot of downloads. So what they're thinking right now is the Hierophant could be a Taurus energy, all right? Um, but with the Hierophant, you could be the one older than this person. All right, there's age gap that I'm seeing here, Hierophant and the Daughter of Wands. Or this could mean like someone like a mentor, a boss, a senior, you know, or this could be you in this person's life. They're thinking of commitment now, okay? They're thinking of commitment. They're thinking what if they change their ways? What if they try to make it work, okay, and see it your way? Because in the past, they may have um, not seen, seen it your way here. They tried to do it on their own, okay? You could have tried to give this person the key to your heart but they weren't ready to accept it at that time but right now they're thinking of accepting that key or wanting to reach out to you and offer commitment all right so let's see what's coming in the near future ten of cups beautiful energy pisces the ten of cups can mean that love is going to be spiritually fulfilling for the two of you this can even mean marriage or good family happiness as well finding someone that can you know vibrate the same kind of frequency as you do there's a mirroring of energy here there's also the threads of alignment so i feel like something's going to be aligned the stars are going to be aligned or you and this person will be in the same page uh, there's going to be a real moment for some of you not for all um, perhaps this higher energy here means they want to be forgiven they want to be taken back in to your family okay and there's going to be a sense of community once again or unity in this dynamics so this is really going to be resonating as well for those who are already married to this person um, they could have turned their back on you or made you wait um, because at that time there was stuff that they were doing here that you didn't really like you found out something they may have betrayed your trust here okay you may have found something as well in the internet with the world wide web okay the world card something that you found out that broke your trust so they're trying to make amends here there could have been also um, a fire sign a younger fire sign uh, who tried to interfere in this relationship in this commitment and now they want to be forgiven. They want to apologize. They want to see if you're going to accept them. Uh, there's also this fear of, yeah, like I said, maybe you guys are no longer going to accept them in your life. Yes, there could be forgiveness, but they fear you might not let them in in this solid family that you both have built, okay, because of trust. So how they're feeling right now is the nine of wands. It could be the other way around here as well, Pisces. It could be that you guys are already um, maybe reaching out to someone else or you could be talking to someone else because um, of what this person has done to you as well. Someone you met online, someone you met on your trips as well here could be this young fire sign. And, and so I see this person feeling jealous, the other person, okay? Might be also the situation where they have hurt you and you move forward to someone else. This is a new person. Who seems to be, you know, there's a component of friendship with the daughter of wands. 
someone that you enjoy some their company a lot someone is very vibrant energetic and really fun to be around with and so if you like this person this new person could be helping you out but this other person here with the nine of wands there's jealousy there's now the energy of being overprotective here okay and and control issues i feel like someone is trying to control you now with the harfant the harfant can be a little bit preachy as well oftentimes a little bit preachy um someone that loves to impose rules regulations limitations so i feel like someone is trying to do that all of a sudden out of nowhere okay for some of you though i'm getting a different narrative pisces i feel like you could have met someone online or on your travels uh that is just so different from who you're with here who you're with it could be a controlling husband or ex-partner and i feel like you weren't truly happy because they were always they were always making you feel bad about yourself there's something about the hierophant that that's a little bit preachy and nitpicky you could have felt like you wanted to rebel at some point because you felt so limited with this relationship you weren't really emotionally fulfilled and so meeting this new person okay i feel as though for some of you you're already giving up on this other person because you found out that there might be someone else out there or in fact there is someone else out there that gives you the emotional fulfillment because this other person may have hurt you repeatedly over and over again has been a long overdue situation with this other person all right so that's a lot of downloads just take whatever resonates my dear pisces in the environment is the seven of cups so right now this person knows that you have a lot of options okay when it comes to love and relationship perhaps this person sees you dating other people getting to know other people especially if you guys have been you know away or separated from this person already i feel like you don't owe this person an apology or whatever because especially if you guys have made it known that you're over this person okay i feel like they know you're dating or you have met someone um and now they're the ones feeling confused okay they're the ones overly jealous and overly protective of you they're jealous about this fire sign that you're with here okay there's also the energy of feeling confused with their emotions there's a lot of moon card here something is not what it seems okay something is not what it seems with the father of swords hopes and fears okay this could be an air sign gemini libra or aquarius someone older i'm really drawn to the eyes of the father of swords over here something about how strict they look at you or how strictly they are so focused on you right now watching you carefully observing you um almost as if protecting you not to be with anyone else okay even though clearly there has already been some separation or you guys just want to be out of this person's life okay you want to seek your own independence you want some freedom from a very authoritative and rigid person someone who could also have la lacked emotional expression or lacked to make you lacked that kind of treatment all right you didn't really feel um happy with this person when you guys were together like i said three of swords there's something about the way they communicate with you as well their choice of words here i see a lot of swords that pierced your heart repeatedly and now that you are in the process of move, moving forward and may have been communicating with somebody else uh they're still trying to impose some control over you here i feel that so as the outcome card hangman they're pretty much stuck on you here pisces i feel like they know you're one foot out the door already probably finding your own path towards happiness or with somebody else um because they keep on insisting that you accept the key of their heart again or you know strengthen the commitment that you have with them but i feel like for some of you you have your hands tied here another message to the hangman means you're done making sacrifices you're done waiting for this person to change here okay this is also the precursor to the death card knowing that you know this is the last push that you need and then it's going to be a permanent change from there on there's something here that you're about to let go here maybe this is the process of you guys tying any loose ends you're almost crossing over 
the next chapter of your life but someone wants the apology or someone wants to still make this work with you they've been waiting for you or they've been waiting uh, for you to come back around here they're not they're not taking any action though i feel like there's the overly confident demeanor to this um king of swords almost too confident and complacent they want you to be the ones to make an effort to reach out okay that's what i'm seeing here so let's clarify this energies for you pisces why is the three of swords here please spirit so we have five of swords here uh you know that this person has cost you a lot of pain and and suffering in the relationship right this could be the energy of them acting superior all the time remember i said this could be someone like a senior a boss or maybe in this relationship they appear to be really dominant at times uh they could also be the types to verbally abuse or punish you there's something about their language really they tend to lash out they tend to blame you a lot of times i don't know uh they don't treat you fairly here i don't like the energy of the five of swords they want to appear superior and better than you in so many ways. And, and it's, I don't know if this has been your love interest because from the way that I'm seeing here, yeah, you don't deserve this, Pisces. I feel like someone just was too harsh and too hard on you here. Um, and you guys have tolerated this treatment or may have been an abusive treatment from your partner for a while. So I would understand why you're making that decision now to move forward to something else and, and someone else as well okay so we have three of cups someone like a friend that you're talking to um through social media or someone who's away from you distant but you can share stuff with this new person stuff that you couldn't share with this other person okay it's knowing that you know even though you're far away uh, this person totally understands you. You definitely see yourself in this person. Okay, you instantly click with this person and they help you go through, get through what you're what you're dealing with here with this other person as well. And and the reason why you absolutely love this person's company because they make you laugh, they make you feel positive, they make you feel good about yourself. Um, this new person also has a friendship component, so there's trust here. And you know that this person won't hurt you the way that you've been hurt by this other person in the past, okay? Why is the Daughter of Wands here, please, Spirit? We have the Tower. All right, so the Tower can also mean like a fast change in the situation, an unexpected, unforeseen, but universe orchestrated this to happen. Because whenever I see the Tower, it talks about ego and pride or something too constrictive right it's it's meant to come down to set you free here maybe this relationship has just been so suffocating for some of my pisces you could have stuck it out with a partner who was just too controlling and and you did whatever this person wanted you to do but um it wasn't fair there was no equal give and take so now that this has already been dealt with i feel like it's a spiritual awakening and a, a sense of freedom all right now that this person is also being shaken right now because you're with somebody else okay this could also mean that they're experiencing the aftermath of the breakup but we have here the sun of swords so yeah could be another air sign gemini libra or aquarius but i see that in the past you waited for this conflict to be resolved okay because i see here someone getting upset and and there's aggression this person all right so pisces i know this is not going to resonate for all but i felt like this person really hurt you um physically hurt some of you um and you tolerated that you waited for this person to change but they kept doing it and i felt like you know because you thought that i don't know this is something that they really sort of I couldn't even find the right words because I really feel so heavy for you here, Pisces, especially for those of you guys where this person has been violent on you, screamed at you, pushed you, or done something to you physically. I, I feel I feel your pain here. Someone was just too abusive towards you, okay? With all this sword's energy and this son of swords, I don't really like this energy. They were definitely unfair towards you. 
and I'm surprised that you haven't called the authorities for this person's treatment towards you, okay? I feel like it's something that you have really kept on your own, on, on yourself here. You dealt it in silence, in pain. So now that you finally have someone new in your life, Pisces, you finally realize, you know, you know that quote when, when they say, you never know what you truly deserve until someone better comes along. And this is what I'm seeing here. Someone better did come along for you, Pisces. I could be picking up an energy that's way back in the past, okay? But only to surface now for you guys to realize how far you've come, okay? Because I see that, yes, definitely, there's someone here better that has come along that meant to liberate you. There's a reason as to why you met this person. And although this hierophant has, has a tendency to preach and has a strong voice, don't let this hierophant or whoever this is in your life to mess your head here to make you believe okay because i feel like they're trying to tell you you're never going to find out someone better than me uh you know you're never going to make it without me someone is a bully here okay someone is an emotionally manipulative person and i hope that you guys are definitely done and over with this person and for some reason, Spirit is surfacing this for, for you guys to confirm, okay, that you've healed from this whole situation, okay? So, Wheel of Fortune, all right? So, again, this is the universe making a way for you guys to release yourself from that path. And even though it seems to this person you, you rebelled, all right, you stood up for yourself. You're, you're saying no to this person, no to the abuse, no to the treatment, okay? Also, they took something from you here, Pisces. I, I, I see even money. They took something from you. And now you need to claim that back. You need to take charge, okay? I don't know. I feel like you've been so generous with this person as well. Four of Swords. Yeah, the silent treatment. The silent treatment. I feel like... It could be a situation where... Yeah, you're not fully divorced with this person just yet. Uh, but you guys already have separate lives. And that's the reason why this is being shown to us right now. Is to be extra cautious whenever this person can start coming around again. Okay, because Wheel of Fortune can mean history can repeat itself. Uncertainty. Someone might come around again. So even though you cut this person out of your life... Um, but haven't made it final just yet just saying and you're happy with someone new just be in the lookout this person might come around again and start some drama okay my dear and start some drama why is the nine of wands here please yeah ace of wands they feel jealous that you have new love here that you're actually happy and you guys you do deserve to be happy okay you guys deserve this ace of wands for what you've been through okay it's a start of a new relationship for you someone definitely you're attracted to someone you feel the energy the fire the passion and this person is struggling to let you go up until now they're definitely stuck on you here all right they see this as a very unfair situation i feel like because you left them um they're ranting right now or they could have been complaining about this whole situation the whole time. They don't see the faults of what they've done here. Okay? So let don't let this bully mess you up, Pisces. You just keep doing you here. Focus on your healing. Focus on the new energies coming in your life here. Okay? And I hope that you heal this wound that this person has caused you. A deep wound. So, yeah. See, I was talking about healing. Go ahead and heal yourselves. Go ahead and love yourselves here, Pisces. Go ahead and soak in all the wonderful blessings. And sooner or later, you will find new balance in your life. Don't let this person confuse you any longer. Okay? So, the temperance can also mean you are divinely guided, my dear. Your angels, your guides are protecting you. Letting you see what's real versus what is deception. Because this person has a way to manipulate with words and hurt you with words. They know how to hurt you with their words, okay? And I hope that you guys are not playing the victim here. You can bounce back in life. You can claim what's yours. You can heal from an abusive ex-partner, all right? I just really want to encourage you guys that way. Um, and if this resonates for you, I'm sending you love and light. I hope that you completely cut this person out. 
father of swords, we have the daughter of swords. So um, this could be like age gap, right? This can also mean like they're still stalking you. They're still watching you. Like I said, there's something about the way they stare at you. So this is coming back around again just to remind you guys to not put your guards down about this person. There's something about information being spread around as well. They're trying to get information about you. They're trying to like find out what you're up to. They're not over you. They're feeling bitter as well. There's something about this person feeling bitter because now the wheel has turned to your favor, my dear Pisces. All right? And, and they're getting what they deserve right now. Okay? When you guys were, were down, you're now up. And this person who was feeling superior and mighty, they're now, you know, experiencing the, the real tower moment. But it's meant for them to confront so they can finally see how much ego and pride got in the way and, and what sort of treatment they're they're giving you and other people here so they can finally change for the best. Something here needs to change for the best with this person. Otherwise, they will keep repeating the same behavior. And it's it, it eventually, you know, it's going to make them stuck and there's no growth, okay? They might end up hurting other people more. So Ace of Cups... This person, again, please be in the lookout. They would try to communicate with you still. All right? They want forgiveness. And maybe you will forgive this person. Uh, but it's kind of like um, a forgiveness in your heart. You send healing to each other. But there's no need to rekindle this. Because I feel like with the hangman, it's the precursor to the death card. And this is permanent change as well. So it's up to you guys. But that's what I'm seeing with the cards. It, it's a very unhealthy and toxic person in your life so i hope that guys wake up to that and if you're already woken up then continue on your healing my dear right better things await you and like i said you wouldn't realize what you deserve until sometimes someone better comes along that's true that's true because that will then, you know, push us. Universe will force us to outgrow what has been familiar. Sometimes because things are familiar, we don't see the abuse that we experience from others. The, the, the toxic treatment we receive from others. We kept sacrificing ourselves. We're, we keep doing and, and trying too hard for our, for our partners. But we don't realize uh, what they're doing to us, okay? So it's time to let that go. So let's see, what else can we have for Pisces about this other person, please, Spirit? What else can we have for Pisces about this other person, please, Spirit? Okay, this card over here, cleaning house, yes. So this is the energy of wrapping things up, all right, making space for new person, new energies. All right, this is also someone needs to clean up their act here, okay? If it's your partner, the other person, right? They need to take inventory of the stuff that needs to go about their behavior, about their mentality, or about how they treat people in a relationship. Because there's a lot of emotional baggage here, and, and that usually happens when you put yourself in a position where someone can have such an effect on you. So I feel like this could be a time where guys should do an emotional cleansing, wizard of awareness so this card is definitely encouraging you to take a step back and rethink your decisions here pisces or just be fully aware the wizard of awareness is definitely definitely always on the lookout all right observing people i feel like this person could be observing you or you should you should observe this person as well there's something about their intentions that's not right here might be misunderstood by you so Use your intuition very well, my dear, okay? You're going to find out sooner or later what this person is up to, what baggages they would bring in your life again. Spark, whoa, this is beautiful. This is kind of like the Ace of Wands, so double confirmation. Uh, it's, it's a new beginning, new love, new passion for some of you, or new work opportunities. So I hope that this is what you focused on and put the past in the past, okay? Um avoid the past altogether i feel like if you open yourself for new energies universe will keep blessing you with unexpected abundance all right this could relate to love or or in, even in your finances as well but you deserve this it has been a long overdue new beginning for some of you all right but there needs to be some cleansing to do 
as well to wrap things up so that is your reading my dear Pisces thank you so much for watching until the end I know this is not going to resonate for all but if it does let me know in the comment section I truly appreciate each and every one of you please be on the lookout for more uploads this week I'm sending you love and light and namaste